Yikes. Uh, so let's, uh, let's... He's so dumb it gives me a splitting headache. <laughs> He's so dumb that ne I didn't know about this. Necro linked it to me. And then when I clicked the link, he started a countdown in DMs before I reacted. <laughs> I won't tell you what I said, but it weren't good for Gmail. <laughs> if you could be quiet, please. You guys better be really quiet. Because if you say the wrong thing here on YouTube, these atheists might... Uh, just to give you a quick heads up, this is him complaining about censorship while advocating for censorship. Might censor you. Hello, everybody. Welcome to GTV. That's time, little host. Wolfie. I have a good uh, one. The Bible says in Psalms 14, Thank you for coming. One, appreciate that the fool you. has said in his heart that there is no God. They are corrupt and they have done abominable work. So if you hear me calling someone a fool in this video, and I probably will at least two or three times, uh, don't take it personal. Uh, if you have a Bible in your house, uh, atheists have done a lot of horrible things throughout atheists. history. You can read the Bible verse in its context and you can look at their history and you'll see what I'm talking about. Only a fool denies was right in front of their face. And believe me, we're surrounded by them here on the internet. They won't come to you when you're at, at your job, you know, as an as a office exec. He is always sweaty and so ashy. It doesn't, I know, I realize it's summertime, right? But he looks like this in the winter as well. Or a boss or they won't come to you as a coworker. They won't come to you in church. They won't come to you in person, but they will come to you behind the safety of their little computer screen because that's the only way they can feel safe. Well, that's exactly what G-Man does with us. But okay. Walking a theist. Now, with that being said, ladies and gents, um, today I want to talk about... Oh, as a matter of fact, I, I want to do a little bit more than talk, but I want to educate. By the way, guys, uh, you guys have the seal of approval. This is the seal of approval. He is now the channel mascot. Uh, say hello to the seal of approval, guys. What's going on, Lady Starfire? How are you? Uh, a lot of you who are on the fence with atheism. A lot of you are just sick and tired of these atheists and their examples that they're setting. Uh, the fake, uh, how fake they are, how they say one thing in public. And you know, I've seen G-Man's comment sections and I've seen his live chats. I don't know who he's talking to here. Like, there's probably like two or three people Max he's talking to right now. They do another thing in private. And I, I know mm, a lot of you out there are really I'll frustrated with um, online atheism. I know a lot of you are. It's you will not seal. admit it. Because I understand what happens when you speak up against them. Just look at Grand Ultimate Villain. They will jump you, turn you into a lulz cow as if that's a bad thing. We can't turn anyone into a lulz cow. A lulz cow just is. I, I, I wish somebody would explain this to him. You know what I mean? What's going on, Owen? And, and do everything they can to try to belittle you and try to get you to feel bad about yourself if you choose to speak up. But that's why I'm here, to be a voice for you. To be a voice for all those people. That's that the thing, Owen. G-Man, like, anybody who speaks against him, anyone who disagrees with him, anyone who criticizes him is an atheist. I want to say something about these people, but are too Thank afraid follow to follow Stray Bunny. Happy Saturday. And believe me when I say these people don't strike no fear in my heart. I find them comical at best. So, let's get to this. I'm going to educate you guys about something here a little bit. If you ever hear an atheist go in public and say that they don't, and Brett Keen, if you're watching this, I want you to watch this to the very end. Just watch this to the end. Um, wham, Moen, wham. If you um, hear an atheist say in the video that they don't support censorship, 100% of the time, they are lying. 100% of the time, G-Man, really? Really? He's such also king of the paws faces. He just looks so haggard there, doesn't he? <laughs> Look at that fucking face. <laughs> I don't understand anything. This goes for anybody who's an atheist. I'm sorry, GUV. This is even you. Anybody who's an atheist, who's ever, who, whoever says to you that they are against censorship, is lying to you. And I'm going to prove it, ladies and gents. He's not. I'm going to prove it to you. He's not going to. All right? I'm not just going to make an ad hom and make a baseless claim. I'm going to e prove e it Everything to you. he says is baseless. Everything that he says is an ad hom. Today. But I'm going to do this in a way where I can educate people. All right? There are several people in our community that oh. say that they are against censorship. Censorship involves suppressing information. Um, We're being educated, uh, guys. Uh, stopping somebody's voice. 
uh, not allowing somebody to express their opinions. That's what censorship does. If you are part of cancel culture, you are a person that supports censorship. Well, I mean, cancel culture doesn't necessarily mean censorship as such. I mean, cancel culture is the act of, like, dogpiling someone, you know, to the point of basically bullying them off the internet. It's not quite the same as censorship. It's, it's similar, but it's not the same. You know, censorship is, you know, outright brigading someone until they get booted off. It's being, you know, crushed by the platform, you know, but basically stopping that person from talking. You know, there are people who have been, quote unquote, cancelled that were not censored at all. Cancel culture seeks to kill a person's credibility with, with whatever audience they had to make that person just a, an echo out there, just a voice out there, nobody listening to it or whatever, and ultimately take away all of their abilities to, to um, ex express themselves on any type of platform or medium. For example, they won't be able to do it on YouTube. Yeah, thank you, Meg. Uh, you make these people tolerable. I, I would hope so. I am a, the filter of the worst, I know. Thank you, Meg. They won't be able to do it on Instagram. They won't be able to do it on Facebook. They'll cancel them on every major form of any form of a platform or whatever to make sure that they can't speak. And we have seen cancel culture people do this all the time. And a lot of the people in our community today is in that culture. Shandy for Christ is not on YouTube because they don't like... Well, she is back on YouTube, though, isn't she? She's under the channel Ebenezer Beezer or whatever it's fucking called. She is on YouTube. And plus, at the end of the day, she broke all the fucking terms of service. All of them. All of them. Right? And she went to Twitch. So she still had a platform at the end of the fucking day, didn't she? her views and they don't like her opinions so to censor her they flagged her straight off of youtube well it had nothing to do with shani deserved to be brigaded for what she did so yeah uh a, a one outburst of anger it had nothing to do with that they just didn't like the things that came out of her mouth and many times they flagged her youtube channel to get her off of here and they did the same thing on revelation news i've been a victim of it there's been a whole bunch of people in here that's been a victim of it and we got somebody very recent who went through it too brett king Brett Keane has, has, in my opinion... We're all victims. Oh, we've all said fucking horror and done horrible fucking things. And we shouldn't be held accountable for it. Over the last two or three videos that he's done, has done an excellent job at showing the hypocrisy in the atheist community. Uh, a lot of these atheists are into little kids. A lot of you are starting uh, to... Uh, he's going to call us pedophiles now. Stand that. Uh, Happy Cabby was into them. I don't know, Nomster. I don't know. P uh, perhaps they're just... You know, when, when when everyone jumped on Chani and Rev, there was a taste for it, you know? Perhaps there isn't now. I don't know. Uh, um, we see that uh, there, there were several atheists, and he gave the receipts to prove it. Okay? But... Instead of these people being brave and being bold and going out there and making YouTube videos and proving Brett wrong and showing him... Making videos is bold and brave now. Okay. That he's a lowest cow and he doesn't know what he's talking about. What did they do? They flagged, they flagged him. They flagged this video and then they flagged him off of YouTube because they didn't want him to have a platform. They didn't want him to have a voice. They didn't want him to express his... Wasn't he beating his wife? Opinions. Okay. That's why I say 100% of these atheists on here, to some form or another, is a supporter of censorship. If you've ever flagged a channel, if you ever flagged a comment, if you've ever deleted a comment on your YouTube channel, if you ever put somebody in timeout, if you've ever muted someone on your show. Just, just, just bearing in mind what he's saying here, guys. He just listed all of those things, right? When I'm banned from his channel, he's banned a lot of people from his channel. He's banned a lot of people from his channel. He's banned me and several others from his stream yards, right? And when when we go on to talk to him, to quote unquote debate him, he removes us from the room and stops us from talking. Just, just let that sink in before I press play again. Just let it sink in. You are a person that supports censorship. And many of these atheists are huge supporters of censorship. You see, atheists, when they say that they don't support censorship, ladies and gents, it means yes, they right, don't yes. want to be censored. Also, Atheism should not be censored. Their secular views should, should not be censored. However, if you are a fundamentalist Christian or a, or a Muslim or somebody of a religious belief, then you should be censored. 
What? We see this when they start saying stupid stuff like talking about heaven and hell is child abuse and uh, and they notice there's a lot of people talking about Shani and Rev are child abusers. I'm pretty sure Shani and Rev kids know about heaven and hell. You notice that now one time they never tried that mess with her with that. Yeah, because there are fucking bigger problems going on right now than telling them about heaven and hell. You know what I mean? But we have several videos of them claiming that children shouldn't hear nothing about hell. We see this on Big Think. We see this on various different forms of social media. We've even heard Bill Nye and other people in here claim that talking about creationism or talking about heaven and hell is, ch is a form of child abuse or whatever, right? If you don't know about this stuff, do your research, okay? No, now, I don't care. I really don't give a shit. If you, I didn't give a shit about the theist anti-theist war five years ago, and I don't give a shit about it now. Support censorship. You also support indo indoctrination. Oh, Let me explain yeah. to you what indoctrination is. Oh, this is going to be interesting. The uh, the militant Christian is going to explain to us all about indoctrination. Indoctrination no, no, is when they only no, want you to no. hear their point of view, and you don't hear the other point of view. Like, for example, it, when these kids go to school, for example, you notice that a lot of these atheists do not want um, um, uh, creationism or intelligent design taught in school. They only want evolution taught in school. Why? Because they only, they believe that that's true. Everything else is pseudoscience and only and, and only evolution should be taught. That is indoctrination. That's them wanting sex. No, it's not indoctrination. It's the teaching of science, you fucking idiot. In my opinion, religion, religion much like how it is with government, should be kept separately. Right. Secular worldviews should be taught and nothing else to, uh, for your kids to learn or whatever. They only want you to learn secular views. If a person is not into indoctrination, then they would not be. You want to do religious shit? Do it in your own fucking time. Threatened by evolution and intelligent design being taught side by side. Many of these people who have reaction channels, and I'm sorry, even the non-reaction atheist channels, Paula Gia, Steve McRae, I'm sorry, sorry guys, uh, uh, um, uh, Nate Brody, a lot of these people that are not part of the reactionary community, they support censorship I'm sorry but this is just reality he, he's just decided that of course whenever you try to silence another person from being able to speak their mind speak their views and speak their opinions you are a supporter of censorship and if you support censorship you also got to be a person that supports indoctrination because you only want your point of view to be heard you don't want to hear the point of view of the fundamentalists you don't want to hear the can we buy g-man a helmet He's going to hurt himself at this fucking rate. Point of view of somebody who fundamentally disagree with what you are saying. Brett Keane had evidence. He showed clips. He gave dates. He gave time. I know, and I've done that every single time I've spoken about you or Shani or Ref, funny enough. Times she showed people real time um, videos that showed that many of these atheists support liking underage children. And what did they He's back to calling us all pedophiles again. They do. No video responses. All they wanted to do was um, uh, flag them off, flag the videos off of YouTube. That's what they did. Oh no 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 no! Naughty. This is where you. This is where you misunderstand things, Naughty. I totally support censorship. See, I mute people. Yeah, he, he, he's about to admit it. <laughs> I put people on timeout. And I block them, and I'm consistent with my worldview. I will tell you up front what I'm all about. The problem is with you... Not something to be proud of, G-Man. Especially as an American, it isn't. Atheist is, you get on YouTube, and you say one thing with your mouth, and then you do something else entirely different. That is called cognitive dissonance. This motherfucker talking about cognitive dissonance. <laughs> Oh no, okay, all right. Your your words and your actions are not doing the same thing. No, that's not cognitive dissonance. That's hypocrisy, you fucking idiot. Oh my God. Can someone please go explain how words work to G-Man? You support censorship. When you threaten to flag other YouTube channels, you are showing that you support censorship. When you flag YouTube channels, you show that you support um, censorship. Is it censorship? If I stand against someone from breaking the fucking law, because that's what Shani and Rev have done multiple times, is break 
the law. And when you breach the law, funny enough, you don't have a fucking right to speak at that moment. No, he can't read, St. Michael. He's a fucking idiot. And don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with supporting censorship. The problem is, is that you guys get on YouTube. I mean, I would argue different, but okay. And you pretend, you pretend to be against it. Then you have all of these people that believe, wow, this, this, this guy's deep. I'm going to subscribe to his channel. I'm going to follow him. He don't support censorship. He believes in the freedom of speech. He believes in all this stuff. And then you get to know the person. You ever heard that expression that somebody's your hero until you actually meet them? Oh, my Lord, right? It's not quite the same thing, but <laughs> again, but all right. And then you spend enough time around him like, wow, you was really lying when you said that stuff. You do support censorship. No, I don't support censorship. Um, 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 that, 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 that goes against YouTube terms of service. If it goes against YouTube terms of service and you're supporting it, then you're supporting censorship. It's that simple. He's a fucking idiot. You're supporting censorship. No. You censored you Brett Keane yes, because Brett Keane brought out a universal truth. And does Brett Keane currently have a channel? Yes, he does. Has he been censored? No. To the community. And Brett Keane reminded this community how a lot of you have a firm disagreement with the age of you know, Just what I think that G-Man can't get any dumber, he gets dumber. Accountability. Or the age of consent, rather. Not the age of accountability. How a lot of you disagree with the age of consent. Brett King brought it out. Who's and saying this He did an this excellent shit? job. And instead of you guys coming out there and bringing that college education that you guys claim you got, bringing out them scientific notes. Oh, did he? Lady Starfire? I cry me a fucking rip. <laughs> Doesn't the guy beat the shit out of his wife? Equations and equations. He's just as much of a piece of shit as G-Man is anyway. Bringing out all of this intelligence and this critical thinking that you guys claim you got. What did you do? Oh, I disagree with that. I'm going to flag him. Now I took away your freedom of speech. Not how it Why are you guys man. following atheists on the internet? That's what I want to know. At least as a theist. Oh, is, is he trying to sell himself? Like, I'm an honest Christian and I'm an honest flagger of people. I'm up front with you from day one when I'm all about. I want to win you to Jesus. Being, being dumb on the internet. Jesus Christ. I, I believe in censorship. I will censor you on this YouTube channel. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to censor you I I on this channel if channel I feel the again. need to do it. And while these atheists are out there telling you that they don't believe in censorship, watch how many times somebody get muted, blocked, removed, or they'll try. I'm fairly sure that because he's, he's mentioning atheists. So when he says that, I have to assume he's talking about me, drag, the geek room, etc., etc., right? Now, I think I've only debated someone on my channel once. That was a fucking mistake. Peanut Gallery. Now, for those of you who watched that one, do any of you remember me censoring her during any of that? Seriously, do you guys remember me booting her from the stream yard? Silencing her? No. When drag does it, have you ever seen someone on drag's channel get censored or booted from the stream yard? Or the geek room? Seriously, I'd love to know. I'd love to know on, on any of these channels that you guys frequent uh, that are kind of within this circle that G-Man's talking about, have you ever seen someone muted or censored? And thank you, Shadow, uh, who says, even with his example, it's flawed as fuck. It's G-Man. This assumes that the quote-unquote hero in question doesn't have the capacity to change his mind over the course of them knowing each other. Exactly. Why do you do this to me, daddy? My brain always overdrives whenever he's preaching his, his quote-unquote philosophy. Because if I had to see it, Shadow, so do you. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Try to take away somebody's freedom of speech. I mean, at least I'm being upfront with you. You understand? At least I'm an open piece of shit, is what GMAT. So I want to welcome many of you in advance to theism. To theism in advance, when you just get frustrated and you and you just get tired of being lied to. See, I understand why a lot of people don't want nothing to do with Christianity. More than you guys understand. I, I seriously doubt that you do. I understand a lot of you don't want to deal with Islam and some of these other religions and whatnot. And you just want to be free to be able to think. But honestly, let's keep it real. You guys stopped thinking a long time ago. <laughs> we stopped thinking. We stopped our critical thinking a long time ago, guys. But not G-Man. Not G-Man. 
you're slaves to the system. Uh-huh. You're afraid to speak <laughs> up because if you do, you'll be a lulz cow. So now you got to go along along with this crowd. Wasn't that the thing that? G man, I don't know if you know me, um, but I'm not known for being a cool headed you know quiet individual all right my mouth has got me in more trouble than you could fucking believe sunshine and if i have an opinion i will say it regardless of who the fuck it is that i can promise you and drags exactly the fucking same you guys complained about when you was when you were theist a lot of what we see i had the same fucking fight with the anti-haters ages ago like we'll protect you irate alex you know you you should just give your opinion irate alex no if i have something to say i'll fucking say it you think i'm fucking scared to say this shit i ain't (laughs) how many followers and subscribers i've lost with my mouth i could give a shit if, if, I'm sorry, right, but if you want to unfollow, unsubscribe, or get mad at me because you, you, I espouse an opinion that you don't like, then I'm sorry, then you're a fucking snowflake, aren't you, right? And, uh, again, I have always, always expressed myself, regardless of who the fuck is in front of me. What's going on right now is religion. And the religion is, only atheists are allowed to have the freedom of speech. And theists are not allowed to have the freedom of speech. And it's just the truth. We're victims. We're not allowed to do these things. Fuck off. Yes, you are. <laughs> you said right. G-Man's channel is not a Christian channel. I have never once seen him on his channel actually talk about Christianity and do any kind of Bible fucking teachings or anything else like that. His entire channel's drama is like, wow, drag, I want drag's attention. Wow, I want the geek room's attention. Wow, I want Irene Alex's attention. Fucking Jules is a 17 year old prostitute. His entire channel is slander and fucking lies. It's all drama. Right. Many of these, uh, I wouldn't say many so, of mate. these uh, atheists on the internet are supporters of censorship. Exactly, Owen. And this exactly. is why I told Brett Keen to watch this to the very end. Brett, uh, number one, man, I was very proud of the video that you made. Uh, a lot of us who don't want to say this in public will tell you this uh, through me right now. I speak for a lot of people, dude. That last video you made uh, proving that a lot of these people are into some really sick things when it comes to kids. Um, um, uh, Again, he's calling all of us because he thinks all of us are pedophiles. And a- well, he thinks all of us are atheists and therefore pedophiles. Brett, I thought you did a very good job, not only on my YouTube channel when I you agree, showed that link to everybody, it. but what you did on your YouTube channel too, I don't man. Know he, your work was not wasted. He's dumb. We He's saw the video that you made and your work will continue and we will go on repeating what, what we heard in your video. They may have stopped you from saying it, but they can't stop everybody from saying it. They can't. Okay? The bottom line is at the end of the day... You know what, right? If the alt-right ever found out about G-Man, right, they would use him as an example and an excuse and an argument for a white ethno state. I swear to Christ. The atheists convicted themselves. They well, demonstrated that yeah. the man was right. Brett Keane was on point what he said about Happy Cabby, and I endorse it. I endorse what Brett Keane said about the amazing atheists. I endorse what Brett Keane said about these people here on the internet. I endorse it. I totally endorse it. And you will be hearing about this on this YouTube channel because you may have silenced Brett Keane on his channel, but Brett can come on this channel whenever the heck he please. Once I get my laptop, my computer again, and I'm not using my phone, Brett- He does mention other religions, but he seems to think everyone who criticizes him on the internet is an atheist. Brett Keane can come on here anytime he wants. You can't really censor people who are determined to get their message out there. There are always going to be a YouTube channel that's going to want that person on there. Sorry, but you guys ain't going to succeed with your censorship. Just like me. If you flag me off of YouTube tomorrow, I'll just be on somebody else's channel. Not to mention, I do have about eight or nine different channels that a lot of you know nothing about. I'll never be flagged off of YouTube if I don't want to be, if I don't really want to be off YouTube. I don't need to be no starfish. I can hide behind one of them icons, pretend to be one of you, and it act. Does he, did he? Catfish is is the term that he just meant, right? He said starfish, but he meant to say catfish, right? Actually be me, and you wouldn't even know it. As a matter of fact, I already do that, and I do it on a regular basis. So, everything that you guys see going on right now um, is kind of part of a larger plan. The fact of the matter is, is that I've been saying for years, for years, ladies and gents, that atheists support censorship. 
they support indoctrination. They do not believe in the freedom of choice. They want you to believe in secular ideas and they will use tax. Wait a minute. When I last, but before I got banned from his stream yard and his entire channel, you guys, I, I've mentioned this before. I went onto his stream and the debate of the stream had nothing to do with what he initially hit me with. I went on there as people were discussing with him uh, the idea of harassment and bullying on, on YouTube. And the second I walked through the door of his stream yard, he said, I rate Alex, why do you support killing babies? And I was, I was so taken aback by that. Because suddenly he wanted to bring up the pro-life, pro-choice uh, uh, abortion argument out of nowhere, which I definitely wasn't prepared for. I can tell you that now. I was playing satisfactory at the time. I just thought I'd click the link because I was listening in. I was like, what? <laughs> you know, what the fuck? And now he's saying that, does he not realize what he's just made an argument for? Because he is, you know, stringently pro-life. And what he's saying is, is that, you know, we're not pro-choice. Now, I, now, don't get me wrong. The discussion is around censorship and speech and so on and so forth. But it can be extended to various other issues that we face in society. Can it not? And he's saying that we're against choice and all this kind of thing. And saying that we're in favor of indoctrination. When all we have ever fucking done is have that discussion and open debate with people but he's choosing to ignore this dollars to make sure it is the only reason why he's doing this is because one shani was brigaded and two brett was brigaded that's the only reason he's doing this it's done the only people that oh fuck me up I, I pressed the wrong button on my fucking mouse didn't like some dick sorry my bad uh, yeah yeah jasper apparently my he, when he looks at me he thinks of baby killing <laughs> Tax dollars to make sure it is done. The only people that don't know nothing about this are people who don't read books, who have never been to school. I, I can't. School. I don't believe that he's ever read a book or been to school. And are not paying attention to the world that they're living in. All right. Um, Let's go, Melty. These, I, I noticed that, that there are certain people in this community oh, God, that can be very easily manipulated. Why does he think this is a community? It's not a fucking community. Manipulated. Um, all you got to do is find somebody. All you got to do is find somebody that they don't like. Uh -huh. And if yeah. your lie is uh -huh. big enough, there are about two to three to four. Uh, didn't we debate abortion once or twice? If I remember correctly, neither of us could convince the other to change, but it was a shit hot discussion i can't remember I, I the only debate i remember having you with you owen was the um socialized healthcare debate that was the only one i really remember because i do remember that one getting a little bit heated between us both <laughs> or 500 people in this community on, that will giant. cling on to it and they will believe it because they're gullible and they and everyone in this community knows they won't do anything he calls us gullible but calls everyone an atheist and a pedophile research so um, and then mentions the word research has never done any research um Going back to this again, um, atheists on YouTube do support censorship. They do support indoctrination. Whatever happened to being an individual and having an individual opinion? But no, he's, uh, he's tarred everyone with the same brush, you see. Okay, they don't believe in getting you a full education. They want you to believe in secular ideas. Now, as damage control, you can expect these channels to go you can you, you can expect people to go on their channels and you can expect them to go on there and you can and, and you can expect them to say oh i don't believe that i believe that creation should be taught in school they're lying when they're saying that i don't i don't think it should be taught in school uh we should teach people about i'm all for religious education as a subject we should be teaching about religions not teaching the religion itself you want to do the religious shit keep it out of fucking school and do it your own goddamn time that is PR. That is public relations. That's them going in public saying what your itching ears want to hear. That's all that is. Because as long as, as long as long as they're kissing your butt, they're going to receive more donations. <laughs> Remember, at the end of the day, I've been telling you guys this for a while now. I'm fairly sure I advocated for someone to push G-Man into a gas chamber and people were still donating to me last week. So, I mean... <sighs> 
<laughs> they don't care about you. All they care about is your donations. You... And people know that I'm not joking when I say shit like don't that. Don't believe Because I don't say shit like that unless I fucking mean it. Well, I mean, I, okay, there are moments when I get... Everyone says shit that they don't mean from time to time. They get a bit heated. But I weren't joking when I said that. <laughs> Disagree with them. Tell them what you really think about a matter. Church. And get serious about church, it. Church, separate I promise state, you, you'll become a lulz cow. School. Just like Grand Ultimate Villain. Will someone teach G-Man that you just... I I cannot decide whether someone is a lol's cow. I can give my opinion about them and say I think this person is a lol cow, but it is not something that I can decide, right? It is you are the person who makes yourself the lol cow. You're a fucking idiot. At this point, I think even Grand Ultimate Villain yeah, agrees agree with, with you, me. Yeah. Man, being a so lol's dumb. cow ain't all that bad. It's not even funny, is it? <laughs> Really, uh, uh, the purpose of a lol's cow is to laugh. I don't laugh at G-Man. I just get the overwhelming desire to pick up scissors and run with them at him. Because when you stand up... I'm not saying I would stab him with the scissors. I'm just saying shit happens when you run around with scissors in your hands. For, as long as you stand for something, you're not going to fall for anything. Oh, God, really? You understand what I'm saying? And that's why a lot of people in this country don't trust atheists. They say <laughs> one thing with their mouth and their actions are another thing. Oh, God, there we go. Your cognitive dissonance. Yes, GD. I, their I'm belief the of the is not that. consistent with their actions. It's just not. They're hypocrites of the highest order. So beware of any atheist that tells you that they don't support censorship. If they say they, they, that they don't support censorship, they might be the Grand Slam champion of supporting censorship. Like, I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm just dead serious. What they want is your trust. When they gain your trust, then they know they're going to get your pockets. Make it a That's it guys. That has been my entire plan uh, this entire time is gaining your trust so I can get your money and then and then when I've got you all nice and close to my teat I'm gonna unload all of my extremist ideology upon you. <laughs> you guys know where I stand. A little bit harder for them. T turnips will not work on G-Man. Uh, it's the safe word screwdriver. Wow. <laughs> to get your trust a lot of you say when you became atheist you only take things by the way i'm not an atheist so you only believe things where you get like uh where somebody has demonstrable evidence start making them show you what do you call it when you don't practice any religion your entire life and then on your deathbed you pray like hell just just in case what do you call that because that would be me <laughs> empirical and demonstrable evidence that what they're saying is true and How if they does... don't <laughs> stop being so quick to trust them because like i said a lot of you people out there you're just gullible and you just believe everything Desperate. that they tell you again if brett king i would have thought he was just being prepared but king okay was such a horrible person and if brett king was the as dumb switching. as all of them claim he was and if brett king was all of these different things it's not a very nice chat calling me things like that fuck you where are the video responses that prove that Brett King was wrong? They don't exist. They were too lazy. They were too... Is it Brett King's a theist? You can't prove him wrong and you can't prove him right either. Too lazy to do that. So instead, Back they flag the down GD. the videos. Like I said, it is what it is. Exactly. It is it's what called it being is. prepared. <sighs> Censorship at the highest order. If we don't agree with your religious ideas, we will flag you off of YouTube. That's what the atheist message is. The atheist message on YouTube, the religious atheist message is, if you will not comport, if you will not conform to our ideologies and our religious beliefs. Is that what you guys think of me? Is it pathetic and desperate? Covering all the bases, yeah. Plan B, plan B, it's called being prepared. And our political views, we will flag you down he's gonna flag us guys he's gonna flag us thank you shadow for the 100 bits you're lovely daddy i know don't pay attention to them i for one love your cowardice and nose cowardice i will fuck you up shadow thank you for the money but i will fuck you up mm -hmm. we will flag you down exactly prior preparation prevents piss poor performance learn it it's that simple. And that's the message of the atheist community. And my question for the followers Our of these souls. people is this. When are you going to grow a set and open up your mouth and form? 
How many times have I done this? How many times has Drag, The Geek Room, Burnt Toast, Jules, the list goes on. How many times does he have to have these people come onto his live stream to take him on? You know, I've gone on and taken him on a fucking few times. Form your own opinion. That's all I want to know. When are you going to be man or woman enough to really and truly form your own opinions? It's I have my own opinion. I think you're a dumb cunt. In fact, that's not even opinion. That's fucking objective fact at this point. Stop being slaves. Yes. Being slaves to online atheists who do not care about you. If they cared about you, then why do they got to lie to you in order? Why do you need a content creator to care about you? To get your money. It's a figure of speech, um, uh, guys, when I say grow a set. Basically, what I'm saying. No, no shit, dickhead. It's like someone when they explain a joke to you, but it's like a dad joke they have to explain to you. You know what I mean? And now he's going to explain to us what they want. Oh, is this be a man, be a woman, be an adult. I care about all of you, except for the people who think I'm a coward. Y'all can get fucked. I, I, I understand you being a kid and being afraid of somebody. I can't even understand you being a teenager and being have afraid of somebody. But everybody's got beliefs that they're willing to die for. And I not me. <laughs> I can assure you that I ain't dying for any fucking belief. I will die for my Christian faith. That's how strongly I believe in it. And I hope that you one day attain martyrdom, G-Man. Sooner rather than later. You atheists. You believe in something long enough, as long as it's profitable, I notice. And I, I don't understand that kind of life. Who wants to live a life like that, man? Because that tells me that you got a price as an atheist, you know? But anyway, I'm babbling. I'm babbling. Brett Keen again. Everyone has their price, G-Man. Man, I thought you... I don't give a fuck who you are. Everyone has their price. Did a very good job, man. Did Necro. I have a price. <laughs> um, fuck that. I thought you did a very good job, Brett. Um, you're proving that atheists do support censorship. And they are into there's only one thing in this world that i'd die for and that's my boys and the only thing worth dying for everything else can go can go fuck itself as far as i'm concerned uh people who say oh i would die for your rat to free speech the lion usually they're talking out the fucking ass man you to die for your right to say it bollocks right the only thing worth dying for in life is family that's it only wanting secular ideas on youtube Whenever they're exposed, they are going to flag the video. Names were mentioned, dates were given, videos were given, witnesses, other atheists. There was a time when I would have died for Queen and Country. That time ain't anymore. Atheists were calling out other people. I've been out of the Navy now. In fact, it's this month. In 13 days' time, I would have been out of the Navy for 10 years. People. That was that that was having these adults into these kids or whatever. But they can make five hundred million videos about Shanny for Christ. I can't help it if it gets views. <laughs> Listen to me, um, Ice yeah, Malo, uh, Malo come. Um, the fact of the matter is, is that I know I'm hitting a a, a nerve with you. Yeah. I, I know what Necro's game is. Yeah, for $250 million, he'd kill me. And he knows if I die on a live stream, he has my fucking full permission to re upload that shit and monetize it. But the fact, and I'm not even going to block you. Non Navy Versary. My next ship was citizenship. I want people to see that. I know I'm hitting a nerve, but what I'm saying is true. You don't hit any nerves with anyone, G Man, because you're wrong about everything. And you want to know what's humiliating about this? You can't That's fair. prove me wrong. I, and I understand. I mean, I literally could if I wanted to. <laughs> and how humbling that can be for you. Instead of you telling me to do the gross Damn, thing that you're telling me to do, why don't you be a man or a woman and sit down and really think about what I'm saying? You don't got to be a slave to these people. Man up fight back you know last time i checked right every single person in my chat right now 
had the choice, had the option in life to click that link. They didn't have to click it. I'm not holding these people here by fucking ransom. They're all here because they decided that they wanted to be here. Because they all decided, I like that Alex guy. I like some of the stuff he does. I'm going to go to his Twitch, click follow and watch his streams. It's not my fault that they keep coming back, dude. I'm fairly sure that I cannot indoctrinate this many fucking adults. <laughs> Man up. Fight back. Just can't quit me. <laughs> That's fair. So again, if somebody could find me one atheist, and I mean only one, that don't support censorship, I would like to talk to that atheist. He doesn't exist. She doesn't. <sighs> doesn't exist. <clears throat> Everybody supports censorship. That is what me. And all the atheists out there have in common. We all support censorship. Every last one of us. He's wrong. But okay. Indoctrination, I'm sorry, I don't agree with that. Um, I Militant Christian saying that he doesn't agree with indoctrination. K. I have no problem with evolution being taught in school as Stop long as creation is taught in Stop school. It. So. Believe it or not. Because evolution is a way of seeing... The diversity of life. I, I believe it's pseudoscience, but I mean, it is what it is. I believe that creationism should should be taught side by side um, of uh, Darwinian evolution. It's the atheists that are afraid to have creationism taught side by side by evolution. It ain't us. We ain't afraid. We're not afraid. We have nothing to be afraid of because we care about truth. And we don't care about people trying to indoctrinate people into believing things. You know, he's the one who make, is making the claim. So therefore... The burden of proof is on him, not us. That's what he doesn't understand. Intelligent design, Ty. <clears throat> Intelligent design. So again, when I stop this video, I'm gonna be a free man. Free to express my views, free to express my opinions, free to block you if I choose to block you, free to mute you, and I'm going to be free to tell you that this is the way I am. Well, it's not really free when you think about it. How much do you pay for whatever you're using to stream right now? I imagine it's a mobile device. You've got to have an internet plan going. It's not free if you're having to pay for it. That I am a, I'm a person that believes in censorship. Brett King's correct. If you're going to flag him, he has every right to flag you back. Especially if he finds out who did it. Brett King has every right to go out there and defend himself on social media. When he finds out who did what on here. And I actually support the idea of reporting these YouTube channels that that that, um, that false flag YouTube channels. It took a long time for me to come to that conclusion, but I agree with Brett Keen on it now. I agree with him 100% wholeheartedly on that because there are people on YouTube getting away with murder. Getting We're getting on here lying to other atheists. Listen to me. If you don't like Christianity, then don't like Christianity. But stop lying to these atheists telling them that you don't support censorship when we all know you do. We all know you do. It's a fucking 30 minute live stream. So if you're an atheist, please consider theism. I want to take this opportunity right now. No. Now, to reintroduce theism to you. At least we as people that believe that God exists, and more specifically, we Christians who believe that Jesus is the Christ, the son of the living God, and the third day he rose from the dead, and he sits at the right hand of power, uh, uh, make an intercession for us. And that is blessed. Someone in this chat in all caps. Can you name one of these atheists, please? Like just spamming it over and over for again. Our sins. At least we'll, we'll, we're up front with you about what we're all about. We're trying to win you. We're trying to uh, uh, get you to see the glorious power of the gospel. Atheists only say what they think you want. G-Man is not trying to get you to do any of this stuff. He's only interested in drama and gotchas. Shit gotchas. To hear. They get on here and they tell you we don't support censorship. And then in their discords, they're planning on censoring people. <laughs> you understand what I mean? Everybody supports censorship. Every atheist supports censorship. Every. I agree with Necro, yeah. He's saying that he, he agrees with censorship. He thinks censorship is a thing. So we shouldn't take issue then when Shani and Brett King were brigaded off of YouTube. Last one of them. All right. 
Uh, if you're although an... his point is that he's trying to make is that we're all pro censorship, like it's some fucking cheap gotcha. He's also trying to suggest that it's not okay to be censoring whilst being okay to censor. Atheist people. unblocked. You support it. I'm not, when I say atheists, please understand me. One hundred percent of them. It ain't some of them. See that? All well, of you do. Have a good one. All of you do. Because you're afraid that people will know the truth. That you people got a problem with the age of consent. I, I've been to. He keeps bringing up the age of consent. Like it's a collective fucking idea. No, G Man. That <sighs> you guys got a problem with the age of consent. You guys like them when they're young. I mean, I ain't stupid. I know what you atheists are into. We all know it. We ain't dumb. Do not make me bring up the Catholic fucking church, G Man. I swear to God. Why do you think I'm arguing against CPS so hard? We know why you really want to call CPS. Ain't nobody dumb. Well, well, what's the real reason we want to call CPS? We know the real reason you guys do it. What? What's that then? Please. What's that then? <laughs> so with that being said, Brett Keen again, man, did a very good job. You worked hard, man. I hope that you can you can challenge uh, YouTube and, and the videos that you made or whatever, and you can get them reinstated again. Uh, you can always come to my YouTube channel, man, whenever you want. My platform is always open to you. Veco has the same at, has the same attitude. And it's thank you. Uh, Miguel, uh, congrats for finishing the Shane Trilogy. Thank you very much. And thank you very much for the Streamlabs donation. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. So many of us on here Shut your face, that Mickey. would love to give you a platform, man, to be able to say what you got. I said it first. Eat your dick. Say, unedited. Don't got to worry about nobody censoring you or nothing like that. Because, again... If we don't agree with you, we'll tell you we don't agree with you. We're not going to be fake and get on here and say we don't support censorship and then censor people. So my G-Man does not get the seal of approval. He does not get the seal of approval. My question for the atheist is, do you support censorship? Yes or no? Well, why are you asking the question when you've already made up your mind, you smug cunt? Do you support indoctrination? Yes or no? The answer is yes. Oh, thank, thanks accounts. for making my mind up for Question me. Question is, when are you going to be honest with all of your audiences and the people that you fellowship with on the internet about this? You hold more Christian values than you think. The Bible says that Jesus Christ is gonna return. The sky is gonna open up, open up like a scroll and he's going to return and judge the entire world. I hope that he does. I genuinely hope that that happens. I I, I would love for G-Man to be right in this circumstance because people like G-Man ain't getting a... It's not going up in the blue beam. All right? And Shani definitely isn't, even if she did ask for fucking forgiveness and started doing good by the fucking world because that blue beam ain't strong enough to lift her fat ass up into the fucking sky. She ain't getting raptured. G-Man ain't getting fucking raptured. Rev ain't getting raptured. They're arseholes. Including the atheist. I ain't getting raptured either. But you know why? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit. I want to go to hell. That's where all the hookers and blows going to be. Fuck. This community, whether you believe it or not. You atheists keep support. You keep going out there censoring them people. But don't come to my YouTube channel telling me that, that you people uh, don't support um, censorship. Get out of here, please. No, I'm not going to go to your channel to try to speak to you, G-Man. I, I, I don't need to convince you of anything. I have nothing to fucking prove to you. I'm just going to sit back and use your content and make money off of you. All of you knuckleheads support censorship. And you all know it because you was afraid. Because Brett Keen proved you people are into little kids. Must not make threats of violence on live stream. Must not make threats of violence on a live stream. GTV. Okay. Right. Uh, we're going to go to the XX channel now and we're going to go catch up with these fucking animals before we. So it's one hour until the premiere, guys. One hour until the, 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 the end of the trilogy. The two hours. Yes. Must, must not breach terms of service. <laughs> Oh dear, uh, let's try to catch up what's been going on with these two idiots. Because I haven't really been you know, staying caught up with them. Uh, because I've been, you know, I limited what I wanted to cover for the documentary. So, um, hmm. Let's go to here then, I guess. Hey, 
And once again, guys, do go give XX a subby wubby doo da over on YouTube. And if you're interested in keeping up with the Shani shit show, watch the content through XX channel because XX has managed to get monetized. Don't let Shani and Rev monetize their child abuse on YouTube. Ugh. <sighs> I've always wanted to play dot to dot on Shani's face. Or just press the button in the middle of her head to see what happens. Fucking state of it. She's just... Okay. Is, it, is this what she's gonna do? She's just gonna... I feel sassy and fierce. There's nothing f sassy and fierce about you. And I know I'm supposed to be on, like, ha. a strike, but it's like, I miss you guys. And I feel sassy with my newfound hair. Uh, she has new hair, therefore she feels sassy. I feel like it's given me a whole different, you know... Sass. Yeah, it's funny that, uh, wasn't she super, like, broke? To the point of allegedly not being able to afford toiletries, and yet she's dying her hair. Strange. Sassy level. Bless upon you, sassy girl. level, and um, yeah, I like it. Yeah, she does, Sky. Kind of reminds me of watermelon. You know what I mean? Color of watermelon. I really do like this hair color. It, it, you look like a watermelon when it's gone way, way, way past its sell by date. Is called bubblegum rose by unicorn hair and i have to say i love unicorn hair in 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 natural light it changes color thank you shadow for the 100 bits sir you can accurately replicate the scorpio star sign by connecting all of shanae's <laughs> warts birthmarks and fat folds <laughs> hashtag facts hashtag facts hashtag fat thank you shadow let me see if i can like kind of like with my light and kind of like show you how it like changes. Yeah, it's, it's funny you say that, Owen, because, you know, they burned through $700,000 in three years. They could have used that money to fix both of their teeth and she could have had all manner of surgery and psycho fucking therapy as well. This color, let's see. Ooh. It does, like in delight, it like changes like the frequency of the color. Let's try to oh make God, it like really? brighter. I'm gonna fucking see if that works. <laughs> so you can like I don't know why I'm doing this to myself now. You know, it's, it's not as if I haven't spent enough time sat there staring at a fucking cretin. Really see? But it like What's going on, exothermic? In the light. It like shifts colors like from like a really bright pink to yeah. Oh, in seven hundred thousand dollars, mate. Seven hundred burned through in three years. Three years. Like orangey pink. It it's is like soul really, destroying content. Yeah. Really neat color, and I I just want to say that unicorn hair kicks ass. Like this is necro. Like what are you saying to me? Neat how the color shift. Ha ha ha! Oh, I better like not say that on a. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I can't say that on a stream. I can't say I it on a stream. Next color I want to want to. Necro oh, send that to way, Mickey. It's not that expensive. It's like sixteen ninety nine. She's always high, Silverwind. She's always fucking stoned. Like a really good sized jar, like a whole. I I dyed my hair and Jason's hair with a whole jar of unicorn hair. So no, we established a while ago that Shani was able to bleach Rev's hair by. By squeezing out vagaceal on directly onto his head, you know Jason's hair kind of looks a little different. You know what I mean? Ugh. Um, but it's like really, Study again. really. Well, God, I just love this color. It's disgusting. It's like, I girl, you are thirty-eight years old. I don't want to be vain, but at the same time. I can't help- you ever seen someone so fat and disgusting be so absolutely disgustingly fucking arrogant? Help it. Like, the color just is, like... <sighs> you don't wanna- you don't wanna, like- this is, like, one of those, like, colors that you get off on. You know what I mean? What? Like, I do. I get off on colors. I'm, like- Colors turn you on, do they? 
What's going on, Danger? Dang it. How are you, darling? How are you? She turned Rev's bald patch orange. I bet. I can see that. He's already fucking ginger anyway. <sighs> like Jeffrey Co Star says, I get off on colors. I, I Really? You're going to quote that motherfucker? It's just one more reason to fucking hate you. Really, I, isn't I it? agree. Because this is the coolest hair color. And it's bubblegum rose by unicorn hair. I just, I don't like it. Of course, Branigar wants this fucking hair color. Any person in the Ubu crew probably would. Yeah, lick her fucking hair as well, Branigal. So neat. So I, I'm, I'm looking forward to experimenting more with unicorn hair, because this is just like it, it's, it's a bomb color, and it's very like summery. It's a bomb color. You know what I mean? Because you know, summery kind of like those bright, like neon, like colors, but it's also like very like a '90s color but not yet not not yes but lady starfire does your mother do this does she react in the same way that shani does to dyeing her hair quite like which to be honest at 62 i'd probably give more power to her because i can almost guarantee even though i haven't met her i can guarantee fucking tea she ain't a horrible bitch like this creature in front of me the 90s color it's just yeah you probably would brown girl yeah well, yeah, you've built up enough tolerance licking windows. It's just lovely. I love this color. Oh my god. Lovely. What do you guys think? You like the color? I think it's amazing. <laughs> Necro. I'm sorry, I'm being vain, but like if you had this on your hair and you were staring at yourself in the mirror with this color on your hair, you would be vain as fuck as to. No, no. I'm, I mean, to be fair, I am vain. I am arrogant. But I have good reason to actually be. I am handsome. I am a decent fucking person. <laughs> I don't abuse my kids. <laughs> like I am. And I miss my folks. And I just wanted like... Yeah, Branna. I have a policy, so I love it when people play with their hair so boldly. Yes, it's perfect. I Do know, not. Right? Oh, she, did, did you just hear her? She didn't say yes. She said yes. <sighs> Reason 679 of why I hate Shiny My hair looks so much like... It, it, it looks really healthy, too, and shiny, because it's, like, got this, like, really good shine. Oh, my God. Like, oh, gosh. I fucking hate that. This, this color. You look like fucking Peter Griffin with long hair. This color. I don't know if you can find it anymore in unicorn hair. I looked at... I looked on Amazon and see if I could... Mickey, if you do that, you will get more than just shoes or combat boots. I'm just warning you now. Find it, but I don't see it. But that's okay, because unicorn hair, like, constantly is, like, coming out with, like, new colors. So you're going to constantly, like, experiment with colors. And I've been doing pink It's for funny you say that, Owen. When I included Shani in the seven mukbang sins, she was pride. A very long time now. Which I'm fine with, because I like pink yeah, on my she, head. She looks like Peter Griffin with a wig on. But, Can someone make that, like, do a side-by-side -side comparison, please, and tag me on it on Twitter? I will retweet the shit out of that, I'll tell you now. You know, fall is coming, so I think around fall, I certainly will be ready for... I know, I love Peter Griffin, but it's not my fault if she looks like him, dude. <laughs> And then we can have Again. like. Blue Thank you, Deb, uh, for a sub. Well, we do die for six months now. Thank you very kindly. Uh, she missed all the roots. Can she not reach? She just, she's just that big of a girl, you know. Do like winter where I'm like. <laughs> it sounds like Peter Griffin blue. doing phone sex. Yes, yeah, she does. Yeah. Aloha, Pisha. Well, aloha. The only way Shani could be made any worse is if she had like that, that Long Island accent. You know what I mean? A Rhode Island accent, that's the only way she could be worse. Ha! To you. Baby, you wanna show your hair? Oh god, I bet Rev looks like a right I fucking like shit show, doesn't he? I like <laughs> it. Especially in front, it's like it that's died too much. I think it's cool. <laughs> well, what did she do to you? Got that on the... On the... Did she fucking hit him on top of the head with a fucking hammer or screwdriver before dyeing his hair? <laughs> that just died. This looks worse than the time she bleached it blonde. Thing. It'll look better. But we got like 
this how it mixed with his like darker hair. He's ginger. His armpit hair is ginger. You can't hide it, dude. It's What's got, going on, like, Big Zebra? Still, you can see My the glasses are also very crooked <laughs> because I sat on them a few times. My love, love. <laughs> look how look how look how good looking this man is. Like, Ugh, God. He looks like fucking Shaggy from Scooby Doo. Did meth for twenty years and gained weight. I think we look, <laughs> he we're... looks like a twelve-year-old and forty-year-old at the same time. Pretty I know, right? He he's also is. I had a friend in the navy, right, and we used to call him a skinny fat shit, because he was somehow skinny and fat at the same time. Rev is the same, and he also looks like he's forty and twelve at the same time. Yeah, he certainly has the mentality of a fucking twelve-year-old. I can tell you that now. Meth corky corkin. Yeah, oh, that's accurate. Yeah. Accurate. I think we'd look good together, actually. Uh, Kurt and Courtney. Yeah. R really? You know, I, I have heard, by the way, guys, Shani has been comparing herself to the Joker, Heath Ledger's Joker, a lot. You know those Joker memes that are really edgy and shit? She's been doing that on Instagram. I'm not joking. Go look for yourselves. That's how much of a fucking edgelord she's being these days. And now she's comparing herself to... What did she just compare herself to? Uh, fucking Courtney Love and Kurt Cobain? Really? Is that a comparison you want to make? It's like when women want to compare themselves to Harley Quinn and be like Harley Quinn. That's not a good fucking thing. That's not, that's in, that's not a good thing. That's not badass. It's not edgy. Oh, I fantasize and, and look up to a fucking psychopath. Criminal. Except I can't have on, them on for that. Cause yeah. Look at us. Eric. And have you ever have you seen Courtney Love out and how she acts on TV when she gets the opportunity to do so? Have you seen that she's fucking nuts? Arrogant people right here. <clears throat> We're so vain. Yeah, I'm writing a new album that you're oh, never God. gonna hear because I died in 1995. <laughs> what year did Kurt Cobain die? Did you know Lou M. Taylor was trying to put... She's insistent on just getting that close to the camera every time. Kurt Cobain under conservatorship like Britney? No, I didn't know Oh, that. God. She was going on about the conservatorship with, with Britney and comparing herself to Britney Spears again. There is some interesting facts. Oh, God. This government Lou M. Taylor her. is the... E is the most evilest lady I have ever, ever seen. Evilist. And if... Evilist. There's no such word as evilist. It's just most evil. Fucking learn to speak English. <laughs> GD did it. There we go. I'm retweeting that. Thank you, G-dubs. Uh, what the fuck is... Is that G-man hitting himself on the head? <laughs> what the fuck? Where's, where's Necro's tweet? Oh, oh, thank you, Della Hayes, for clipping me as well. <laughs> for giving ranting monkey shit. Uh, I don't see a tweet from Necro, that's for sure. If she ever comes near me... Did you me, tag the wrong Twitter account, Necro? I am going to run. I'm going to be like, no, bitch, I don't need your management. I'll manage myself. Thank you. Nobody could manage you, Shani, to be honest. Could you imagine if Shani was actually, like, popular and then someone had to actually manage her? You know, my a lot. I, I started gaining a shit ton of white hair not just on my head, right? Because of various stresses, right? Due to shit on YouTube, right? If I had to spend a year managing Shani, you know, I just, guys, I want it to be known I want to be cremated. <laughs> uh, I want Amazing Grace sung at my funeral. <laughs> I, I'm a social media queen. I know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? I know what I'm doing. Yeah, exactly, Shadow. Yeah, it's not something that you fucking want to aspire to be. Anyway, I got to get going. I want to be on... As well, you notice as well, those edgy memes of the Joker have always have quotes that were never said by the Joker or any variation of the Joker. Twitch. For, I'm on Twitch, by the way. Yeah, it is and terrible. it's under Shani Needs Love. I know. 
and I'm gonna because I recorded some of the content the other day and it was horrible. Be playing some Animal Crossing for a little. Oh, while. that sounds entertaining. I'm trying Animal to build Fucking Crossing. My island. The only thing more boring than playing Animal Crossing has got to be watching it. To greatness. With bagpipes, Stray Bunny. Yes, and with bagpipes. I love the bagpipes. Be great. So. Huge fan of bagpipes. You know, go sign up and follow me on no. Twitch. No, no, sign up to twitch.tv and then go to twitch.tv forward slash R Alex and give me a follow. In Shanny. You post it on GD Suite. Like I'll just I'll just type this down. Thank Shani you, Necro. <laughs> just retweet that as well. Needs love. Man. Thank you. <laughs> right there. You see that? Just put it there, man. Shanny needs love. Jasper. Right, we, we need to have an intervention then. Can, can you guys have an intervention with Jasper in the chat there? Improve his uh, taste. Because <sighs> I do. Because I get Just way too clan, much bait. hate. And, and I don't do the things that people say I do. They just, they see. No, 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 no. Again, Shani, all we have ever done is shown your content. We have only ever shown you doing those things that you are accused of doing. Something and then they tag it with the worst type of title they can. And then they throw it at me. What is my video called? Uh, yeah, my, mine is called Shani for Christ, Transcendence of a Low Cow. It was going to be called The Third Plate, but... Me, and they think it's going to stick, and it's not. Hey, Mickey, if you can, if you can fucking do it, then by all means. Is my real life. Because the internet is fake as fuck. Peace and Maranatha, guys. You were literally the fakest fucker on the entire internet. Who remembers when she decided to switch from right-wing politics, stopped Rev from, like, bigging Trump up, and, st and stopped him from talking about Alex Jones, and then switched to uber-progressive on Twitter? Who remembers that? Hands up in the chat who remembers that shit. And then who remembers when she changed her channel name to Shani for Christ, hashtag LGBT, hashtag BPD. The reason why she does that is because she's a fucking grifter. The most transparent, which is quite odd for someone who's as thick as she is. Good night, Owen. She's a fucking idiot, honestly. She's, she's the worst grifter I've ever seen. You know, and I've watched him pull. <laughs> Oh dear, okay, um, alright, I want to see what, because apparently Rev had a sniff of his hand and was disgusted by it, so, oh god. I don't mind watching the ads, because it's XX's channel. Uh, that's fine, if you like Tim Paul, that's fine, I, um, I don't watch Grifters. <laughs> like the oxygen she wastes. I was just looking at the chat, and I saw my beautiful girl there with the hearts and the good stuff. The love. We need love. That's fine, old dwarven giant. We don't have to agree. I don't like him. Um, I think he's a bit of a prick, to be honest, but that's okay. You, you can have your opinion about it. We absolutely Twitter. definitely need love in this world, and... Uh, yeah, worse than Shilly de Crapo as well, yeah. Worse than fucking Philip DeFranco as well. He's Jesus a fucking Christ grifting twat and the all. Truth and the life, and if it wasn't for him, uh, I wouldn't there be here. Go. I wouldn't be speaking retweets. to you. There we are. Uh, this is Jason William E. Groff. This is Revelation News Radio. Now, the uh, the actual first show uh, I'm intending on doing very soon, and I apologize that I have not. Uh, I've neglected doing content because there's been so much stuff that's been going on in my life. Uh, and I didn't know where I was gonna be, and 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 uh, the harassment of uh, just constantly not Let's knowing go, your, your next day can be quite stressful. And the last thing that's on your mind is doing a radio show. It's it's that is not the Franco is dog shit. He probably is the worst grifter on all of YouTube, to be honest with you. Who remembers when he attacked the fucking um? Oh, uh, the kids. Do you remember the the the, uh, the Catholic school kids that ended up in a bit of an argument with a uh, um, what an American Indian? Uh, you're not supposed to call them that, are you? You're supposed to. What, what, what's the word? Like who? He tried to play the fucking non-bias card, then decided to fucking talk mad shit, bring like the worst negative attention he could to those kids, just because they had red caps on. I can't remember. I forget the school. 
Yeah, nat- 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 is native is the correct term, isn't it? Yeah. Because they got into a discussion with uh, with a Native American, which wouldn't have been made worse if it wasn't for those... Um, oh, you, I forget what they're called. The We Was Kangs crowd? What are they called? That's it. The black Hebrew is- Israelites. Yeah, G-Man's fucking friends. Um, like Covington kids, that's it, yeah. Because Brennan Meyer, Philip DeFranco was supposed to be this, you know, non-biased news source, you know, that collected, you know, you know, news information that removed all the ambiguities, and then he shit all over them, bringing the word like lies and shit to those kids, and they got, you know, they, they were fucking children. They were kids in school. You know what I mean? And that that was the moment where I really turned on him. It has not been in my purview to to really think about. Okay. It just hasn't. So. Oh, I've seen I, videos of black Israelites. They're horrible people. Hard. They spit on people and shit. I want to come back. G Man's friends with back. like Full a few force. of them. I want. I want to have guests. I want to do all that thing that I used to do. Except now it's going to be a TV show on top of it, which is really neat. You know, sorry to keep pausing and talking about Philip DeFranco. You know, I could look past the fact that he started like putting his own shill links in this week in awesome i can look past the fact that he even has his own toilet roll and cereal right but that shit with the covington kids that was it for me that was it uh since i've been around you know live streaming has become the new thing the big thing uh live streaming was around too when i was you know what if you if, 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 it's, it's the whole fucking trying pretending you're non-biased you know what i mean <laughs> But it wasn't even that. It was the fact that it was the, it, there were kids, there were children that he decided to shit all over. You know, if it had been adults, I'd probably have been fine with it. But they were kids, they were children that were fucking horrifically harassed. They were doxxed, death threats and all that shit. And he contributed to that, so fuck off. I was doing my thing back there in that time. Thank you, Warrior Shade, uh, for but, the follow. But Happy Saturday. Not to the not uh, to the level that it is now, that you can just jump on a computer and you're basically live streaming as soon as you want to. Uh, That's I quite like that. The flower that blooms in adversity is the rarest and most beautiful flower of all. Hmm. I like to think that uh, one was forged in the fire of Jack. Uh, with the right tools. OBS is an amazing software. I want to give a shout out to the creators of OBS. Uh, very cool software. I'm loving the... Uh, Has he only just learned about OBS? A version of the Twitch studio. Uh, I'm learning that and loving it. And uh, Exactly that, Crow. Cool I agree. Stuff. So I got one viewer in here. That's probably my girl. Might be my girl. But uh, I, I okay. Girl. Look, uh, calling Shani a girl is a bit, you know, it's a, it's a bit too generous. The fact <sighs> is, is that I have a wife that is disabled. I, is she though? <sighs> I love her with all my heart, soul, being everything that you, however you could love an individual, and I love this girl too. This watermelon that's underneath my feet. She was <laughs> swapping me with her tail. Uh, I love her, too. Uh, But the fact is, is that we need funds to live. And um, they're not they're they're in a new state that doesn't they're in PA. PA doesn't recognize their form of marriage. So they're no longer married. Yeah, get a job. I know that's going to be like, boom, 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 get a job. I can't. Do you understand that? That I Yeah, Shani's probably watching him. Can't get a job currently. Because of the harassment that's taken place. He can't get a job because of the harassment. He's talking out. He's lying. Everything he says is a fucking lie, man. Just like Shani. He can't get a job because of harassment. How about you just go and get a job and not tell anyone about it, dickhead? Ain't no one calling employers up and just, and stop. Literally everyone. Every single fucking person who reacts and reviews. Shani and Rev has said nothing but go get a fucking job, dumbass. I have a criminal charge. Oh, that's probably why you can't get a job then, isn't it, dickhead? That apparently in a year gets a little better. Uh, but I am now considered what you would... Shouldn't call- really drink drive then, perhaps, maybe. ...all and undesirable by many professional entities, i.e. You could first try having a shower, getting a fucking haircut, brushing your teeth, putting on some, um, you know presentable clothes writing a fucking resume and then putting the resumes out there 
you know, calling people up, dropping the resumes off. It's a good start. Employers, okay? So, I'm dealing with that. Uh, I'm coming to you humbly, and this really is a litmus test for me right now. <laughs> Catch up! It will be a litmus <laughs> test. How many people are going to help my family out? How many people are going to help my wife that is disabled and needs medication and she is without her medication because of the current state of the world? The current state of the United States, which cannot even tie its... Are, are we blaming the country for this? Okay. ...its own shoelaces <laughs> without a 27-day delay because of COVID, which is supposed to be over now, which it's not. You got that? Government agencies are still using COVID as an oh, excuse no. as listen, to why they listen. can't get to work like normal. Okay? We were summarily thrown out of an apartment when we weren't supposed to be able to because of a moratorium. Lies. You were removed from your apartment because you were six, well, sorry, $20,000 in debt. You lying shit. There is no government help. There is no moratorium, moratorium on evictions, bullshit. You can give a little letter that says the CDC suggests know, that right, you Alexandra. don't evict your people because this is a very rough time in our history. Sure it is, but do we care? And we're gonna. You know, I'd love to see some actual proof that Shani needs edibles. Oh wait. Take care of people. No, that that depends on the corporation or individual that owns the property to say, okay, I won't kick you out during this time because- You know what, Numster? I don't actually know. No, I, I, he's a mummy's boy. Like, he's the worst. Like, because remember, his mother was very well to do, you know? And he was pretty much just lived off of her fucking coattails until Shani came along and then Shani spent all of his money. Uh, this is why he's completely unable to stand up for himself coherently without, you know, making death threats against the children and her, and why he's just completely unable to function. Roger that, Necro. Have a good one. It's very rough. But no, we didn't get that grace, did we? No, we didn't. So, so he can get a job then, stateside. He can get a job. He's just he's made no attempts. I, I, I'm basically just humbly coming to you as an individual, saying that I have a sick wife, I have a family, I have two You boys. have a fat partner. Not wife, fat partner. And I am in desperate financial need for so many things. There's many things we need that I'm just, I'm not dealing with it. But I showered, I feel a little better now. And uh, I'm. Uh, this is a litmus test though. How many people are actually gonna help either me or Shani out? If you. Mm, I hope no one does, to be honest. If you want to donate to me, my cash app is right in front of you down here, and it's kind of hard to see. What? Give me a reason to donate. What do you do, Rev? What does what do Rev and Shani do? That that that, that would give me reason to want to donate because they don't they're not entertaining. They're horrible. Of course. Always. Stop. They sit there and lie and complain, lie and complain, lie and complain. Who's donating to that? I apologize. Right down here, and let's get those stupid things out of the way. So that you can really see here, folks, okay? There you go. My cash app is right there. For anybody that feels like there's smells of, you know, shit constantly in this place. Uh, <laughs> can I... Uh, why is that exactly? ...tell you that I am legitimately in need. <laughs> Because the Mickey thing with me, me and Shani is that people like to say that we scam now. That's the new thing. Well, remember the, the, the key fob thing. It's no wonder you couldn't find it. Did you see the fucking house? Shit, dude, I wouldn't be able to find my key fob either. Uh, if I'm you surprised you were able to find your children in that mess. I want to call an individual that is literally prostrate before God going, Lord Jesus, are you going to help me with somebody that, that can bless my family with some money? Where I, where I can buy necessities and things like this, like products. We're begging for money. We really need your money. We want you to donate, guys. But Shani spent all the money on hair dye. Like, like shampoo. 
uh, th th doesn't have money for toiletries for them or the kids, but has money for hair dye. Products okay. like bath wash. Okay. You ain't got money for bath wash, but you got money for hair dye. Uh, products like... This is literally hygiene and stuff like that. And in the case of the other thing, it's medication to deal... Now, that microphone is new, by the way. That's a very expensive mic. That's a better microphone than what I have. I, if you can tell me the uh, the brand of microphone there is, I can look it up real quick. That is a far more expensive microphone than I'm using, and I have a fairly decent, like, expensive microphone. I have an Audio Technica 2050. Right, it took me a long time to get my hands on one of these. Right, I started off with like a Fifine shitty microphone that I couldn't do shit with, you know. Then I upgraded after I saved some money to get a Blue Snowball, you know, and as time went on, I got an Audio Technica 2020. You know, I even have a Blue Yeti in here somewhere that I got for half price at a local cash converter. But that thing looks like it is brand spanking new. That looks like a proper... Is that an XLR? With if it's an XLR mic, it means it's super expensive. Disorders that have been long existing for individuals. Okay. Uh, and, and bureaucratic nonsense of the government makes it basically impossible to do. $699. That is actually, what, three times as expensive as the microphone I am using right now. And I had to save up for mine, but he had money for that microphone, had money for hair dye and loads of makeup, you know, and to still, like, use the internet. But you ain't got money for toothpaste or shower gel. What you need to do right now. Thank you, Shadow, for the 100 bits. The mic looks like a Newman TLM of some description. Yeah, mm. very expensive. Mm -hmm. We used to joke that Newman mics were the snob mic. Yeah, it looks it as well. A, that is a big old, like, it's like a podcast, like, like it's, it's pr probably promoted as a podcast microphone. Thank you, Shadow. How to get legally the stuff that needs to be gotten, uh, i.e. medications. Okay, we're dealing with not even what... That's because I actually know what I'm doing with with sound, Lady Starfire. <laughs> what what, what uh, Shani really needs, okay? What she really needs, we can't Is that microphone right wireless? Because of the bureaucratic nonsense of the government, okay? So why can't we federally legalize marijuana and make it the medicine that it's supposed to be and you regulate it exactly like alcohol? <sighs> where you don't sell it to minors, you card everyone that is trying to buy joints or... <laughs> Rev posh. I just... <laughs> or buy concentrate or whatever it be. Uh, I am a 420 friendly Christian uh, because I learned the healing powers of it and uh, of marijuana. And uh, Newman TLM 103, $900. That's expensive. Uh, I, I That's the kind of mic that has a power supply, guys. I highly suggest that, that the uh, ice cream president uh, uh, legalize it. Uh, of course, he won't. Not even Trump did that. So what are you going to do with that? So this is an, uh, this is an absolute plea from the creator. And, and, and I'm prostrate, prostrate before God begging. And I'm asking you the folks that are out there that may have something to think of all the stuff they could have sold guys you remember all the stuff in the house they could have sold but didn't and then just left yeah if and now they're begging they want they want your money want to give to me that's the cash app it's cash it's cash tag which is a dollar sign uh revelation news that's me right down there you can see the there it is okay uh if you would rather donate on, directly to shanny Hers is the dollar sign, Shanny, the number four, Christ. Okay? Make it real easy for you here. Yeah, I'm the e-beggar. Remember that, remember that, GD? There you go. I'm the sellout. I'm the e-beggar. But Shanny and Rev, no, not them. Oh, that's her cash out. Okay? Uh, if you don't trust me with money, fine. If you don't trust her with money, fine. Uh... Then don't donate. Well, okay, uh, but if you if you you're not comfortable with me having money in my cash app, fine. 
you give it to Shani, and and it's gonna be used on essentials. It's not. It's gonna be used on fucking hair dye and shit she don't fucking need. This is stuff that's needed for living. It's not. Uh, Shani for Christ is in so much pain most times that. She Let's be honest. She's in so much pain because she weighs six hundred fucking pounds. She can't even live stream at all. And yet she has been. Huh. Why does he continue to lie? Because she doesn't have the energy, nor... And yet she's constantly uploading, what, YouTube stories? Uploading IG stories? And is still live streaming? But she can't, she can't live stream, guys. The want <clears throat> to go online and put her... Shani for Christ will never know what it's like to have nerve pain. Self through pain and anguish. Uh, without some kind of, of comforting Agree, uh, uh, medication. This is needed. This is not something that's just like, oh, I should yeah, have. No, no, it's just not I should have it or she should have it. It's not that. It's this is needed. Okay, so I am willing, I, I am literally just here humbled saying I am without. I am without. Is there someone out there that can provide? Uh, you know, as an adult, as a caretaker of children, and as a man, <laughs> Rev, do you uh, do you feel good saying these things? Do do you say this this shit without fucking with no shame at all? Sitting there lying, saying that you want someone else to, you know, provide. See you later, Lady Starfire. Thank you for coming. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. I am attempting to rebuild my life uh, after it's been completely ripped apart and destroyed by people on the internet. And that's guys, I am without a sports car. Uh, if you guys could provide, I would be very much appreciated. That's the facts. <laughs> no, he's not a man. Uh, he's a and weasel. I need help. If there's somebody out there that he's knows a Dr. With glasses Phil on. that could get us an interview with Dr. Phil, <laughs> please do that because we need... <laughs> Traction. We need <laughs> something to be able to put our put our feet on, and actually make progress. I oh, mean, that'd be entertaining as shit. Uh, I'm I'm a Z4. Cut wiser, please. A Z4. Um, I I'd watch it. I'd love it if they went on Doctor Fucking Film, man. That'd be amazing. <laughs> then you then the whole nation can see what horrible shit you are. Chris, I can't get a job. Uh, because of people like you, gamer girl. Uh, God. people just like you. Yeah, Lotus that will do, come in and say yeah. random Ta. hateful comments like that. I race sports car. I cannot get a job. I cannot get. Don't put me on the insurance shadow, mate. I, I can't drive anymore due to the some of the symptoms of MS, unfortunately. But uh, you, you can drive me around if you want, Shadow. A job. I cannot get a job. Bullshit, I have a felony. You haven't tried, motherfucker. You have not tried. He hasn't tried. Work at work. I And I work. Stop the man. I don't care. Smart roadster. Yeah, all right. I'll, do it. I'll take you, it. Then somebody decided to let you work as a felon. Okay? I have not found that. They do a background check on me, and they say they for, don't right? want me. Yeah, I do care, okay? It's people like you. You're just turning your nose up at things like at the service industry, Rev. And you know what? Jo working for McDonald's, like, people like to shit on it, but it's a good job. They pay fair, fuck, fairly fucking well. And there's a career ladder. I know people like to make fun of them saying, oh, I, I, be I became a five-star general at McDonald's. But, like, a manager gets paid a decent wage at McDonald's. You know, I mean, sure, of course, it's going to be thank it's thankless work. It's you know, it's customer's fucking service, isn't it? You know, if if you if you're working the tills and you're going to have people whinging at you and all that shit, but it's a job, it pays. But Rev thinks he's above it. That have destroyed my life, and you will get what's coming to you someday. I just know I that so, you're going to get it someday. No, we're not. I am unemployable currently. No, DoorDash rejected me. That sound is coming from him. Me too. Can you guys hear that? 
you're you're a liar. Yeah, that'll do, Villa. Because they do yeah. they do background <laughs> checks. Strikes. And do you know why it is this way for me? Because I was involved with something with police. Okay, obstruction. I don't know what the fuck was causing that noise then. On a peace officer will destroy your abilities to get employment. So there you go. You're capped now. You're capped because you are. He hasn't tried. He can't prove any of this. Part of the problem. And everybody on the internet that acts like that, that you think you know my life better than me, and then you spread lies. Well, you do put it all on the internet, and then you actively lie, and we can prove that you lie. Is that I'm just lazy and won't get a job? You, you are. are the problem. No, it's You, not. and you I'm should not. be banned from the internet with no social media whatsoever. <laughs> So we, who expose him for being a lying, pathetic bitch, should be completely removed off the entire internet. He's that fucking Whatever, salty. And then you'd probably kill yourself because you got nothing to do. You've got no one to harass. Well, yeah, he can't get a driving job. That's fine. But he could get a job as a cleaner. I've done cleaning jobs. Does he think he's above it? Ass anymore. I am telling everyone that's in the within the sound of my voice. Oh God, Shadow. That things are going to start changing because these social media platforms have ruined people's lives because of lack of enforcement of TO. Yeah, and those people whose lives who have been ruined due to being harassed or doxxed or swatted or anything else like that is because a lot of the time, not all the time, obviously, but people like you, dickhead, put everything out there and then wonder why people would call you out, why they would criticize your actions. Less terms. There are many people that it is have been work. I've really done it. affected by this stuff. I and used to clean an office many years ago. You know, door is going to open to lawsuits. I actually and quite like it. Everybody's going to start. <laughs> you know why I liked it? Because people leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> really finding out that there is consequences. You're not going to have any, any entertainment. Yeah, I know. It's funny. You've just learned about consequences, haven't you? After being evicted on the internet to watch because YouTube's going to be banned. It's not going to be banned. Hey, Shanny, you could cap that quasi-monkey. Yeah, cap that person. Is he being racist? It sounds like he's being racist. Who is he talking about? Disgusting. You are going to be in jail. Some of these people will be in jail. I won't. And I can't wait for that day. And, and, and more importantly than physical jail... You're going to... Physical jail. He said it. He said it. Guys, he said it. <laughs> have to face Jesus Christ at judgment at the white throne. And I really, really can't wait for that day. That's why I pray for the second coming of Jesus Christ. I'm Revelation News. This is Revelation News Radio. I'm Jason William Egroff. Can you please help my family? Oh, okay, Big up, bro. Okay. Can you help my family? No. Because when I had money, I really helped a lot of people. That I will not toot my own horn. You didn't help people. You just gave people money. You didn't help them. You just gave them money. You just super chatted them. You you just patroned them. You you gave away your money. You dumb fuck. But I'll just say that. Oh, I go. see, Villa. He doesn't know how to operate a microphone. Can you help a Christian that helped Christians and non-Christians alike? I helped everyone. I didn't care if they believed or not. Could you help a woman? No, no, he gave people money for clout. It's the only reason why. Get some medical relief that she's a mother of two uh, children. Or because Shani wanted it and then, you know, again, clout. And she's just a wonderful girl on the internet that was trying yeah. to make uh, a channel and have her content. Could you help her? Content. Because really, yeah. I'm asking for her. She doesn't deserve to be in pain. And she cannot well... get the stuff she needs to get out of pain. So could you help? One might argue karmic consequence. Me and my family out. This is Jason William Egroff. This is Revelation News Radio. And I'll be starting my, uh, the actual content of headlines uh, as soon as I can. God bless each and every one of you. Jesus Christ is coming. He's king. I hope he does. And I hope he bit slaps you, you fucking creature. But guys, it is 15 minutes until the...